Alright, we're checking out the only game where the point is to have a brain so big that you can use it to break down the walls of reality. It's Big Brain Run. This may seem like a very simplistic concept where you just have to swell your skull as far as possible before the viscous fluids inside of your squishy brain come shooting out. But what happens is after bloating out your brain as far as you can, you have to use it to violently bust through all of the thumbnail holes and then find out which hideous being your brain is now smarter than. So we are past Ladybug and are almost as smart as whatever this is, a tarantula or something. What happens if you pick the wrong brain? Oh, oh, you get a tinier head and then you just get to get obliterated by masonry work. I am kind of curious what the smartest being is. So do I have to, do I have to like murder these people or do I absorb their brain? Oh, I, I literally just best them in hand to hand. Well, it's not really hand to hand combat. It's like head to head combat, I guess. So you best them in head to head combat. And what happens if your brain is too small for those different things? I don't know because I've managed to get through all of them so far. Okay, now we can eventually fill up the brain flame. I don't know what this is. It's like the 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 flamey brain meter. Sounds excellent. Almost we're getting close. I want yellow or blue. I'm going for blue. That gets me like one additional brain chunklet. I don't know if that matters or not. I have no idea what these gems do either. They're just giving them to me, but I, I still, I'm not really 100% sure if I can buy something with them or what. I love that the dumbest creature in the hierarchy of creatures is an ant. Ah, I have bested a spider. That is right. If a spider and I were to partake in a bout of chess, I have, I guess, like a reasonable pot potential of beating them. <laughs> I love just the random brains on the platter kind of moving around. I'm trying to go for a completely perfect run here because I want to know what happens when you fill up the brain thing. Now, my brain is getting to the point where really there's not much of my body that's left. I love that you can see the brain on this sideways glance just to see how ridiculously big it is. <laughs> we are nowhere near where we need to be. These brains are meant to be so much larger. Ah, the classic completely random spiked punching bag made to murder you for no reason at all. Hopefully I have enough smarts to get through this wall. See, if you're not smart enough, you can't headbutt the wall down. So can I take this guy? His head looks vaguely larger than mine. Did not matter. Sent him completely across town. Okay, so 15 brains, 10 brains, 25. We got two times two, four. So your head swells at the end based upon the multiplication. I like that. Okay, so now we have the brain hammer over here. You don't want to want to touch that accidentally. Make all your gray matter fly out of your rectum or something. I really don't know where it can escape because my character doesn't have any obvious holes on them. I mean, unless I make the hole myself. Oh my god! It is worse! <laughs> well, that was that was just magical. I'm really glad I had the opportunity to do that. Okay, we're gonna get times two six on this one. So that means that the brain should swell to pretty stupid. Yeah, I, I can almost not get it through the sticks of the of the finish line anymore. Oh, we're, we're going past butterfly intellect, goldfish intellect, frogs. I think that's an octopus maybe. Aren't octopus supposed to be incredibly smart? I think they're incredibly smart. At least I remember them being smart enough to, I don't know, I guess like beat up an ant or something. Oh, the brains are not big enough yet until all I can see is a brain on the screen. I don't know if I can truly be happy in life. I love that I got all these smarts, but anytime I see a problem, I just headbutt it down. It doesn't seem like the right way to take care of, you know, world issues. 
But uh, I'm gonna go with orange here. But hold on, I gotta try and grab every single brain I can. Oh yeah. Now we're up to two times 2.8. I don't know technically if I have a larger brain than I had before. It is what? way bigger than the walls I'm busting down though. Out of the way, tarantula. Nobody loves you. Hello there, goldfish. I've killed a lot of your kin in my time and I feel kind of bad about that. I wasn't really sure what the gems were even doing. I think that it is increasing my potential for raw knowledge. You can see over time, the amount of brains I am able to achieve are just growing exponentially at this point. I don't know how I'm gonna dodge this thing because my brain takes up half of the screen. I mean, I did it somehow. In the choice between gems or brain, you always take brain. All right, 3.2 times bigger head now. Got it. I'm smarter than a sad little chick thing. Probably some sort of famous bird. Okay, I have to, I have to fight for my life over here again between one of these two individuals. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, no, his brain was bigger, I guess. That's the first time I've been outbrained. What's funny is I'm playing a brain game. But I basically have no brains left. After like all of the hideous challenges I've been through in the different games, they have, they have slowly destroyed the little bit that's left of my sanity. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm getting through all of these issues in order to grow my brain and just so that it can pop like a grape tomorrow. I love that you can only see me from the knees down now. Okay, now we have the the double traffic cones of destiny over here. I'm gonna follow this in order to get the most brains physically possible. Kind of wonder too, am I like eating these or am I drinking them like a protein shake? Kind of, it's really kind of curious. I, I'd like to know. I'm not really sure what all these brains would taste like. Oh yeah, again, gems or brains? Brains. Every time. Oh wow, the gems just kind of slurp on down to you anyway when you have the the full brain power thing going. So do I get, do I get to murder everyone here with my gigantic brain? Yep. He defied gravity. I hit him so hard, gravity lost all meaning. 10, 25, three times, and my God, it's almost, my brain is coming down to my feet. <laughs> what, is, what is my brain size at this point? Do I at least get past the bird? All right, I'm still at the bird. Wow, it's almost like a landmine of brains over here. They, I'm gonna pick green. I don't even know if that's the right answer or not. It's like a landmine of brains that you have to dodge around. Look at this insanity. This is like a perfect run so far, too. Oh, it, oh, I get I get brands and gems on this side. That is fantastic. I almost have the full so can I slurp the brains from here? Yep. You get brains from both sides. Now we're at 4.2 brain expansion. Behold my brain of unreasonable size. We're over at like 5.8 times brain size, but it's still, it needs to go even bigger. I can't, I have to get to the point where I can no longer see my body. If I can still see my body, it's simply not large enough. And plus it looks like one of the things that you have to outbrain is a rock. I'm sure it's something else, but it to me, it looks like a rock. Uh, we're gonna go orange over here. It looks like orange gets me one additional brain. And if there's one thing I learned about this game, every little brain matters. So here we're gonna go for blue. Again, see that right there? Extra brains right there. Now we're at 6.2 on the brain swallow meter. Behold, the brain which has now meet my feet or met, met my feet. It's on top of my toes, basically. This level of brain will bring us to the duck. <laughs> I had no idea that that's what that was. I thought it was a snail or something, but it's just the head of a duck. Where's the rest of it? I'm not gonna lie, seeing a headless duck to tell me how smart I am is one of the most concerning images I think I've seen in a game in a while. <laughs> now, obviously, I need to know what this is. I assume it's just another head. I'm not really sure. Like I said, it just, it looks like a rock. It just looks like a, 
It's like a flat rock. I love that when I run, my brain weighs so much that it it kind of like weighs over to one side and my body struggles in order to keep the character on the pathway forward. All right, creepy Howard the Duck, I wanna know what comes after you. Oh, the brain power! We are magnifying the brain power. Time is 12.6 now. You can see what this does. The top of my brain is tickling the finish line. That's how absurd this titan of intelligence is getting almost at whatever this is. Something I'm also curious about is why the different color brains? Do the different color brains taste like different things? I like to think that they do indeed taste like different things. Like right now we're having some citrus brain over here. Then you have to go over to the lemonade flavored brain right here. It's packed full of vitamin C for you. Now we are at the 14.2 times brain capacity. The power of knowledge compels you. The power of knowledge can- I don't really know what it's compelling me to do other than to absorb these delicious like blueberry flavored brains over here. All right, give me my brain, <laughs> my brain size. Oh, I'm getting close to it. I say it because again, I still don't know what it is. I'm at level 50 at this point. I've given up trying to collect these gems because I have no idea what their purpose is. At this point, I am solely continuing to gain brain power so that I can find out what that rock is at the end, and I'm not giving up until I eventually get it. The idea here is that over time, the multipliers will get so high that eventually the game is just going to give it to me out of, I don't know, I guess like a pity, so to speak. So right over here, what do we want? Still staying over at blue, which is great because blue raspberry brains are actually my favorite flavor of brains. Now the brain run portion is slowly getting longer. I have to murder at least two to three people per run at this point. I feel kind of bad about that, but this is, this is, it's for a good cause in the end, which is to finally open up the pet rock brain or whatever is at the end. So 17.4 brain capacity way bigger than the 15 that is touching the flag it is literally touching the finish line flag so now the tops of my feet are covered with my own brain and oh man it's still not there i need even bigger i don't care what it takes on my quest also to get this enormous brain there's something else that I had observed, I will show you in just a moment while I collect the rest of these brains. And that is that when you get to this point and you start going past all of the various creatures that you are now intellectually superior to, they bobble a little bit and it's not really a big deal until you get to Howard the Lecherous Duck over here. And then it gets right there, and it kind of pulses, and it gets very concerning. But now I have made it so far that I have beaten all the way to Fox. I got all the way to Fox, and I learned that the Fox is smart enough to stop being tortured by this process. Hey, anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Big Brain Run. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love.